This is the fourth tutorial in the series, and we are going to be putting the, uh, the logos that you've made and the patterns, and you're going to be placing them on a template. Um, and this was the original template that you've put in Photoshop, and then I've just added my logos and my wallpaper and my backgrounds which I created and showed you in the last uh, tutorials. You need to also get your uh, your templates ready. So for example that's my iPhone case, my iPhone cover there. This is my general logo which you can see goes onto the iPad and then uh, that was the original. Uh, I downloaded this template. There's lots and lots of templates you can see on here on the web. All I did was Google free Photoshop branding template and it comes up with loads of these. I clicked on to this one uh, and so it gives, it gives you lots of that. gives you to Graphic Burger and there's lots and lots of uh, templates on Graphic Burger and I got uh, this one, so Branding Identity Mockup for Volume 4 and I'll put this link on the uh, YouTube uh, information at the bottom. Okay, and so that's where I downloaded it from. And what happens in Photoshop, once you've opened it and downloaded it, you get to this part and you'll see on the side here there are lots and lots of layers. When I minimize them all down, you'll see that they're divided up. So letter one, which you can see is that. Letter two, which is the underneath section. Then you've got the iPad and so on. You've got the iPhone, the business card, and you can keep on going down until you can see all the, all the uh, different layers. And you'll notice there's this kind of arrow section down. If you press on that, you'll be able to see all the layers that are linked with that layer. So all the ones underneath, so you see that the logo's there. And if you just uh, uh, show the visibility, you can see that's the logo. And there's the signature. And you can keep on whatever you want to add or whatever you want to delete, you can do that. And then you can minimize it to make it a bit neater. So for example, if I was going to do the letter, first of all, you can see that there's the logo. So if I go onto the logo layer, I want to replace that logo with my logo. So I've got my logo up here. I will take my logo, copy and paste, uh, and paste it, sorry paste it in to the letter one. So I want to paste it into that area. So I could create a new layer to paste that in. So there it is. So there, there's the section. You can drag that over to the area. I want it, notice that you want it to be within letter one because you don't you want it to be grouped with letter one you don't want it in any of the other layers so you don't want it with an ipad mini at the moment you might want to later but then i can just make this smaller i need to make sure that i'm not selecting the whole of the group i want to just select one so i want to just select layer one and i want to reduce that here and if you want to make it go in proportion, you just press shift. And I want it to be about the same size as the original. And I'll place it in the same section. And then I can get rid of the layer that's below it. I need to obviously I'll transform it first of all. And then I don't need to see the logo before because I've replaced it. So you're going to keep on replacing each one of the sections with your own branding. So for example, uh, I've done the letter, I think, unless I wanted to replace my name, which I could then scan in my name and make it John Lee if I wanted to. But I'm going to leave the letter and I'm going to uh, 
to the back of the letter. So you'd want to replace the pink. So you go to letter two, which is this section, and you want to replace that with your texture. So instead of having it this pink base, you want to replace it with uh, your own texture. So you'd go to new again. You'd go to the this, your pattern. And so this time, I'm going to be copying and pasting from the background, so my layer one. And I can just copy that area if I select it. So, uh, copy. And then I can just paste it into the layer two that I've just created. And there you go. And then I can just transform it to that size. So rotate. Transform Put it into the corner of your page so it's the right size. And you might want to tweak it, you might want to zoom in a little bit so you can see if it's accurate because you want to still have that slight shadow. That looks pretty accurate. Okay, and then there's the back. So you'll do this for all of these sections. You can do it for the brand, you can do it for the the envelope and you can replace the logo here. Uh, the only thing that's slightly uh, different is when there's layers within um, a section. So this iPad one for example, uh, you'll say your design here. So this red thing indicates that I need to replace the whole thing and it will come up if I double click will come up with that area that goes to a completely different file and you will want to replace that with your own your own piece. So I've made mine, mine here and you're going to have to copy each one of these sections over so I can probably group them and drag them over to layer to this area and you're going to replace the whole of that section and you need to then get rid of all the things that you don't need on there. So there's my area, I don't need anything else. Okay, so, and this is really important, otherwise it's not going to work. All you have to do for it to be replaced onto your, onto your branding is to go to save. You don't go to save as, you don't call it anything different, it has to be exactly the same. So you go to save and you'll notice, wait, beforehand, I'll show you what it looks like at the moment. So it's there, that's the thing you're manipulating, and it's on that layer. You go to file save, and when you come back, you'll notice it's now replaced it. So that has now been replaced. If you want to do something different to it, so say I want to make my logo smaller, which I think is on that layer, I will have to, instead of going back to that other thing, I would have to go to there, apply it, save it. Remember, not save as, just save. And then it will look different on here. Okay, so these areas, so it's going to be this, it's going to be this one that you're going to have to do this for, and it's going to be the CD. Uh, different mock ups or different templates are different from whatever setup, but you'll. So if I go, if I close that now. And I go to my phone, which is that one. I can see this red. This is your design here. This is the thing I've got to replace. So you'll double click again on that layer. And again, if you wanted to change it, I'll do this very quickly so I don't have to. You'll notice any um, things I do on here, any changes I make and I save will have an impact on my mock-up. So there you can see it there. It's actually changed the design. So you'll keep on doing that. Okay, I'll, let's have a look, because I can't remember what's happening on the business card. And if it's just a replacement, I think it's just a replacement, so you wouldn't be double-clicking, you would just copy and paste. So it's different from the iPad, it's different from the iPhone, because all you're doing is just Again, going to the logo, selecting that layer, 
because I don't want to have any of the other layers. You just copy. You go back into here, making sure you're on the logo, create a new layer. And then you would just paste your selection and make it smaller. So you're not doing that same thing that you did. Press shift, steering proportion. Put it in the area that you want it in. I'll probably make this a bit smaller. Nudge it across with your cursor keys. Then transform, oh, that's transformed. Then you can get rid of the logo that's underneath. And that's that, so that's the easiest to replace. If I wanted to change the text, I'd have to find the text on here and change it through that. So there's the text, and then I'll have to replace it with go to my text box, highlight it, John Lee. There you go, and that's how you would replace it. Okay, and you keep on doing this until you've done all of it and you're happy I've even done the pen so you've just done an overlay over the top of that I've replaced the black you can see from this one with my own pattern and so you just keep on doing it until until you're happy with the overall design okay and that's that so that will be the end of the project after that so you've got the background you've got the logo and you've put it now in a template. Okay, thanks for listening.